Hi, and welcome to the very first video of my journey into Miniature Madness. I thought an appropriate place to start would be where every video production starts, with a clapperboard. So let's do one in 12th scale. So this is a useful bit of board I found. Looks like it'll do the job, bit of 5mm ply. Now this really got my interest and was the inspiration for this clapperboard. A little miniature clothes peg, especially because of the little click there. Um, I got these from The Range, which is a kind of craft and hobby store, similar to Hobby Lobby um, or Hobby Craft, somewhere like that. Um, beautifully cheap, about two pound a bag. We're gonna glue the miniature clothes peg onto my scrap of wood and trim it up to suit. And a quick sand to smooth up those rough ends. All right, let's mark out the size of our itty bitty clapperboard. I think about there looks quite good. And let's cut it out. And a quick check to see how that all fits together. And yeah, yeah, I think we're ready for the next stage. Time for some wood glue. This is Evo stick, stronger than the wood itself. Right, I guess what we need is the smoke. Do you know what? Hang on, I think we need to get out the close up glasses. That's better. Okay, just make sure they all lined up properly. And let's apply a bit of glue. There we go, as small a bead as we can. Okay, there's a little bit too much glue on there, but nothing that a good sanding can't sort out once it's dry. We need to fill that gap. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of experimentation. Um, and I'll mix up a bit of tissue with some wood glue to make a kind of paper mache type affair. And how do we open the clappers once it's glued? We'll um, oh, cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, that's lovely and tacky and horrible. Um, I hate having tacky, sticky hands, but that just tells me it'll do the job perfectly. So let's just shove all that in there. And using a trusty toothpick, poke it and shove it into every possible gap there is. Try and make this as solid as possible. All glued, we'll let that dry. Not sure how long this takes to glue, but I left that for several hours and it looks to me like that has glued perfectly well. It's all quite hard. So let's sand off the rough edges. With all the rough edges done, I think we should treat it and give it a bit of a finer grit sandpaper, just to make it nice and smooth. This is 240 grit and I'm using it without uh, the sanding block so that I can fold it over and get right into the corners. Now it's time to cut the gap between the two clappers that we glued together. So I found this paint stripping tool from a budget DIY center. It holds a razor blade, so it's a nice thin blade. Uh, we'll see if that works. Let's have a quick look. And the moment of truth. Right, let's get it painted. So we're gonna paint it black. This is a tub of um, silk black, which is just a sample pot from a local DIY store. And that'll do the 
job. Just pick to the rescue again. That'll fit nicely inside that spring so that we can paint all around it. that one left overnight that's all dry now so um, the paint has stuck the clappers together but no problem we can get out our trusty little blade and we'll just open that up hmm what I hadn't taken into consideration was how do we paint the inside Ta -da! a nice big fat sharpie to the rescue and for the deeper in parts where the big sharpie can't reach i've got a fine tip sharpie and then we'll just scribble inside there so um, i've got some white acrylic paint and i'm going to do a little bit of an experiment first to see how to draw some very thin lines or paint some very thin lines rather having done all that i think the safest way is going to be using masking tape um well as a mask and we'll trim out a uh, couple of areas where we're going to paint in white. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So let's get on to painting. Now the slightly tricky bit for me is the black and white sections across the top. Because this now requires a bit of hand painting and my hands aren't the steadiest in the world. So I have no idea how well this is going to come off. So this is going to look like a slow-mo movie. There we go. And there it is. Our little clapperboard come out really well I think. I suppose we better see it in action. Camera rolling, silence on set. My miniature madness, scene one, take one. And action. <laughs> 